So normally for like YouTube videos, I'd want to actually write a script. And I didn't do that. Because usually I just teach stuff on the fly and I don't have to end up doing any kind of like weird intros and stuff. So what we can do is instead of doing like the weird intros and stuff, I'm just going to walk you through what this is. Because this is like really cool, okay? This is Leb's filter monitor that he made to use as a dock in OBS. So what you can do is you can literally take this like dock and add it as a panel anywhere in your OBS and program it to monitor the states of any of your filters. And right now I have it set up to monitor some voice filters that I have that are really easy to install and they're really easy to tweak and they work really good. And I have two of them. I have a low voice filter and a high voice filter. So I can hit the low voice and then my voice will be like this. It'll be low, it'll be menacing, it'll be scary. Everybody just, like, they love to play video games and use this voice right before they go on a killing spree. You know, it's great. Or we can go to this other voice, which is more of a high-pitched voice. And you can be sounding like this and be weird and it's really quite annoying. And this is really great for when you want to just really just be just the worst person in the world. Or you can turn them both on and it would go low and then high and then it just doesn't work. And it just sounds... Really, really weird, you know? What the heck is that? Anyway, this is Leb's filter monitor. And what you can do with it, which is really cool, is you take your OBS and you grab this little monitor and you stick it where you want. And so like, let's say I want it right there. And now it's part of my OBS. And now even when I control this from my stream deck, if I go to my stream deck and I click on this button, then it tells me that that voice effect is on. And I know that it's on because I see the little green light. This is really cool. And I don't know why you wouldn't want this. Everybody should have this. And then I click the off button, it's off. So I'm gonna show you how to get this to work from an OBS installation from scratch. There's a bunch of steps you have to do, but they aren't that complicated. So let's go ahead and get a clean installation of OBS going. What you wanna do is go to, and in the doobly doo there'll be a link for all this stuff. We need a few things. We need to download Leb's uh, files for the OBS filter monitor. We need to download OBS WebSockets and install it. And we need to download some voice filters to really get going. We need to go to GitHub slash the Bastin 100 OBS filter monitor. There'll be a link in the doobly-doo, okay? We want to click on code, download zip. All right, now we have it. Show on folder, open it up. We got a folder named OBS Filter Monitor Master. We can put this anywhere. It doesn't matter where it goes, okay? We're gonna put this, I'm gonna put it in a folder called Utility. New folder, Utility. But you can put it in something called Docs, whatever you want, doesn't really matter. We're gonna take this guy, we're gonna unpack it right into here. Good, we got it. That's gonna be good for later. Now, what else do we need? We need OBS WebSockets. Just search OBS WebSockets. There'll be a link down in the doobly-doo for this as well. You'll, find, you'll take it to a page for the plugins. Go to Downloads, scroll down. We got a Windows installer. You can use that and just follow the window installation or you can use the Windows Zip. I went the Windows Zip route because that's the kind of guy I am. Now, we're gonna take our OBS WebSockets. Now, if you use um, Lorian Board or even Elgato Stream Deck, there's a chance that you already have this installed, and that's great. You just grab these three file uh, uh, folders right here, drag it into your OBS installation folder, bam, done. Now we have OBS WebSockets. The other thing we want is some nice plugins for our voice changer. I like the Reaper plugins. So you go to reaper.fm, replugs. There'll be a link as per usual. And here we go. We want to download replugs VST 64 bit. This will give you an installation. You follow the installation. I'm not going to tell you how to install it stuff because I already have it installed to my system. We got all the things. What you do is go to view, docs, custom browser docs. Create a new one called Filter Monitor. Whatever name you'd like. On the URL, it's not a URL. It's actually a file location. 
So you want to go to wherever you installed the OBS filter monitor, right? And what I like to do to make it really, really easy is I'll just right click, you go to the monitor.html file, just right click it and go down to create shortcut, all right? Now what you can do is right click the shortcut and go to properties and they'll say target. Just copy that target minus the parentheses around it. Copy that guy, okay? The other way you could do it is just click up on your browser and it'll give you the file location. Then you just add a slash monitor.html. Either way, that's what you do. Go back to your OBS installation. On the URL, paste that in. Make sure you didn't include any quotation marks. There you go. There it is, press apply. Now the filter monitor will populate and fill up. Now when you download it from the GitHub, it'll already have some stuff in there. This stuff is just an example, okay? What you need to actually do is open up the HTML file and edit it so that it applies to the filters that you're using. We can close this up, go ahead and place it somewhere. You want it over here? Place it over here. You want it over here? Place it over here. Wherever you want to put it. I like to keep mine down here next to scene transitions. I think it's nice down there. Let's go ahead and get those microphone filters on there. So what you would do is go to your mic, right click it, click on filters, click on the plus sign, and go to VST2.x plugin. All right, you can name it high filter. Now we go down to please select a plugin and go down to REAJS. Bam, open plugin interface. Now it says load. Click on load and go down to pitch. On pitch, you can go pitch down, pitch to, whatever you want. What we want is super pitch. This is good. You can adjust your pitch how you want. I can show you how I did it on my installation. So here is my voice filters. So if I go to high pitch, open plugin interface. Yeah, I use super pitch for that. And if we go ahead and click on the eyeball to implement it, you'll hear my voice shift. There we go. Oh yeah, I need to set this to monitor so I can actually hear it. If you go to your audio properties, advanced audio properties, you can go to monitor and output. That way you can actually hear what's going on. Hello, hello? Perfect. And you can change the pitch adjust or pitch adjust ST. There we go. You can hear my voice going higher. Going lower. There we go. Low, low voice. High voice. Low voice. High voice. Low voice. High voice. Pick the one you want. Get it where you like it. I like it there. Close it up. Turn it off. There we go. So we have high pitch shift. While we're here, let's go ahead and add a low pitch shift as well. So it's the same thing. You just go into your plugins, add a VST 2.x. Let's call it low pitch shift. Now we can go and click on the plugin, choose ReJS, and click on open plugin interface, load, same one, super pitch. And now we can play with this one. No, 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 no. Instead of adjusting up on a pitch adjust, go down. And go down. And go down. And go down. And there we go. A little bit too far. Go up. Yeah, nice seven. Whatever you like. Play around with the settings, see what is good. See what you lie. We're gonna keep it here. And close it down. Now we have low pitch shift. And high pitch shift. Low. High. Add as many as you want. Next step. And the next step, what we need to do is edit the HTML file from that OBS filter monitor thing that we downloaded earlier from Leb's GitHub. What you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the folder that is OBS filter monitor dash master that you downloaded earlier. Open it up. There is a file called monitor.html. You want to right click that and edit it. Now, I like to use Notepad++. 
you could use Notepad if that's what you have and you're not much of a programmer, and that's fine. There's really not much to this, and Notepad will work fine. I like Notepad++ because it is two pluses better than regular old Notepad. You can use any program that you like. If you are a coder and like programming and stuff and you have your you know thing that you like to use, use that. It doesn't matter, just so long as you can edit it. Here it is. This is the file as it comes from the GitHub. Now, this looks like a bunch of gobbledygook that just doesn't make any sense, and that's okay. There's not much we have to edit. What you're going to want to do is go to where it says constant filter list right here, right? After the hard bracket, there's going to be a bunch of examples. And right now, these are the ones that are showing up on the OBS stock right now. It's going to say filter one, filter two, pitch, and chroma key, right? We don't have any of those. So what we're going to do is we're going to disable these examples. What you want to do is right after the hard bracket, but before the curly bracket, right here, just go ahead and press enter a couple times. You know, give yourself some space, room to move. Then go ahead and tab this guy over. Just keep pressing tab until it's in line. Now those are all nice and away from everything. What we're gonna to wanna to do is disable these examples. How you disable them? Well, the magic of forward slashes, of course. Put two forward slashes in front of each of these lines, just like this. Now none of these count. It's like a comment in the code. It's just like in something you can reference for later. Now there's one bit on the very, very last example that we need to get. This is very important. If you go to the end of that line, you'll see after the curly bracket, there's a leather little bracket and a semicolon. Copy those. You want those. Those are good. Okay? And what you want to do is see where this open bracket is? Right after this open bracket, paste it. Now we have open bracket, close bracket, colon. What I like to do is between the two brackets, I'll just press enter so that the open bracket is on the same line as constant filter list and the closed bracket is on the new line. Now we go down to our examples, okay? The example we're gonna work off of is gonna be the second one. It says filter name, filter do to source name, Mike Ox, display name, comp one, okay? Grab that entire line, copy it, and put it right after the open bracket. Bam. Now we need to rename stuff. So this is where the editing actually happens. We have filter name stays the same, okay? But we wanna change filter two. So the idea is that this right here is a pointer kind of thing. So it says, what is the filter name? It's asking you, and you have to fill in the information here. The filter name is high, Pitch, shift. That's what we made earlier when we were doing our little filters, right? The source name, the default is Mike Ox. In my example, I have a different mic name. My mic name is actually gonna be called main mic B1. Whatever your mic name is, name it that, okay? You'll see it in the audio mixer. Whatever you decide to name it. The display name is what shows up in the dock. So we can call this high pitch. Now is where we get a little bit tricky, if you want. Right now this works. You can save this and it would be working and what would happen is when it's on, it will turn green. When it's off, it will turn with a little X and be grayed out. So this works fine. But if you want to be custom and get with a little with it, what you wanna do is look at the third example and it has this little thing that says on color. With on color, if you add that to the end of your line, you can change it to any color you want. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's just grab on color and then this little like hex color here, copy it. Then after high pitch, add a comma and then paste that, okay? So now we have on color and then like a little pound sign, zero, zero, F, 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 F. But we wanna pick our own color. How do we pick our own color? Well, I'll go to Google and just Google Hex color picker. When you Google hex color picker, this pops up. Let's pick out a nice purple, okay? There's our purple, and we're gonna take the hex code, copy that, and then replace the code here with that one. So now we got pound F700FF is our purple. Now we have two filters, okay? So we wanna do this again. What you want to do is at the end of this line, add a comma, 
Press enter, and you'll be on a new line. I like to tab over so that it's in the same like horizontal space as the other one. And we're gonna paste this guy right here. Just we're gonna copy this whole line minus the comma and paste it. So now we just have to change this again for our low pitch shift. Change the word high to low on filter name. The mic stays the same name because it's the same source and the display name is gonna be low. And now let's change the color too. Let's make it like a, I don't know, an olive or something like that. It doesn't really matter. But we'll go back to our color picker. Pick like a darker green just cause yeah, make kind of like swampy looking because it's a low voice, yeah. And we're going to just paste that into our color instead. And now we're nice and custom. We've got our two colors. You can keep adding as many as you want to your filter list, and it could be from your camera, it could be from anything you want. It doesn't really matter. It could be a scene filter. As many filters as you want that you want control from a dock, you can add. Just make sure you have a comma after each line and the last one doesn't have a comma. That's the important bit. And then make sure that it's all within these brackets. You see if I like have my cursor on this first bracket, it shows me where the closed bracket is, and the same thing. So you want everything to be within those brackets. And then these are just examples. That's why we put the slashes on them. So that's good. We're gonna save, right? Now I'm gonna show you this on my OBS because I actually have the mic set up to that so that you can see it. So if I, Bring my, I'm just gonna bring the monitor over. If I can unmount it, you saw how I mounted it earlier. Make sure you go and press Control R when you have the, the you click on the dock, press Control R and that refreshes it. And we got purple right there and it goes high pitch. And it goes dark green right there. It goes low pitch. Works great. And like I said before, you can put this dock anywhere you want. I like it right here. I have a little clock dock too. You know, I have a bunch of custom docks that are great. I actually play my music from a dock. I'm a, you know, big fan of the docks. So that's it. Go prep your stream and make something cool and make sure you share it with me. I want to see all the cool inventions that you make with these neat tools. Have fun and have a fun stream.